What's up, everyone? It's been a couple days since we caught that giant swordfish, but he's in the cooler here. He's in the Yeti. We got a chunk of them left. We cleaned most of them for the customers, but they had all they wanted. I got a nice piece of right here. That piece of meat right there, this is over 100 pounds. That fish was this fat, and it's a pumpkin. I mean, check this thing out. Ugh. This right here is over 100 pounds. That's probably 125 pounds. We're gonna give a lot of fish away here. Everybody that works here at the Bud Marys, the Bud Marys family. This is gonna be one of our first videos of 2021. That's how we're starting out the new year, so I hope you guys had a good new year. And uh, let's get this thing out of here and start cleaning them up. Look at that chunk. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. We gotta get this thing out of here. All right, let me get up in there with you. Get up on in here. You guys, this is Vic. You gonna help me get this bad boy out of here. You ain't grab that by yourself. Come on. Oh, All right, get yeah. him over the edge. There we go. What do you think this thing weighs? Uh, he's 150 right here. <laughs> I said at least 125. It could be 150. He's about 50. That's heavy. He got some dinosaur fat on him. Yep, that one ain't getting no bigger. That's what you want to smoke some of this thing up? Vic gonna smoke some of it up too, so we're gonna get him a piece too. Man, you got the big end. Oh, but he's giving me the big end. Yeah, you man up. Oh, man up. Here we go. go. I'm moving logs. This is Jeffrey's table. That's where you're cutting? Yep. Uh, <laughs> She's on. Fat dog. Yep, she ain't getting no fatter. Alrighty, now, now the fun part. We'll go cut this up. Vic, come back in about 10 minutes. I'll give you a couple, give you a bag of steaks. Alright, I'll put them on the trigger. You know me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're wrestling a swordfish right now. I don't want it to roll in the water after all this fight. <laughs> That'd be terrible you're losing now. What? And the manatee will be rolling it up. Yeah, the manatee will be on that thing eating it. Some people are asking how we keep the knives sharp. I had this really nice whetstone, but James the other day, he dropped it and he broke it in half. So sorry, Jay, had it two years and it got broke. But just put a nice edge on it, working both sides of the blade. Not losing the edge is important, trying to keep it sharp every time you use it and sharper it again. Like I said before, if you got the space in the room, it's always best to gut the swordfish, let it sit on ice for a day or two, then clean it. This one sat for two days. Um, you know, they took a ton with them. They filled two coolers, and this is what we got for ourselves here. So let's get cutting. I'm gonna make a lot of happy people here. You know, Dan, that was a fish of a lifetime. Dan appreciated it, you know, I could tell he was as happy with that fish as we were. Oh boy, here comes Francisco. We gotta give Francisco a piece. You want a swordfish? Yeah. I knew Francisco did. Oh my Adrian God. wants That's some awesome, too. Man. All righty. Everybody that works here, these guys work here hard all the time. They uh, they keep the place flowing here at Bud and Mary. So this will be a late Christmas gift, okay? Okay. Thank hey, you. Got Thank a nice you. mustache Thank coming you so in. Much. I used to have a mustache. Thanks, so yeah. I cut up. I like it. <laughs> Edwin, you want some too? Yes. Please. Edwin always wants oh, yeah. fish there. We gotta feed these guys. Oh, so. wow. All right, here we go. Big. Wow. Oh boy. They all coming to get it now. You need some of this too? She loves swordfish. You cook it on up there. Oh my goodness. And this fish is so big, you guys, we're just quartering it. We're just going straight down here in quarters, you know, because you got four pieces, that equals a quarter, you know? I mean, what a beautiful fish, though. He's a almost 300, more than 300 pounds. 381. I mean, that's prime right there, you guys. And now we can stake this on up here. Kind of dirty there from being a cooler. I'm just going to throw that piece away here. And we're going to start staking this in a minute or two. There we go. That is absolutely beautiful. Sarah doesn't get too excited, but she gets excited about pumpkin swordfish. We know that, so. That's 
pumpkin swordfish. I love pumpkin swordfish. You guys probably get tired of, tired of me saying pumpkin swordfish. people you guys gonna feed? I have one in the laundry and oh, oh that's good or cut this in half or okay. what? Is that good? Oh yes like that. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah no uh, thank you. Thank it's a you. late a late Christmas gift. Oh thank you very much. I appreciate that. Anytime. How many people are you guys each feeding? Three. <laughs> That'd be you eat that in leftovers, right? Yeah. Okay. How many people do you feed, Francisco? Three people. Okay. I mean, you want one of these whole chunks or smaller? You yeah, tell me. That's good. You eat it, right? Yeah, I eat it. There you go, perfect. Right. We eat it every day, every fish. Eat it. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for the help. We were halfway done with this thing. Let's roll it over and start doing the other side now. Ugh. There we go. Now, I can show you, too. This is why I like to let the swordfish sit, because it relaxes and settles down. Look here. You can see where that's puffed out. It's swelled up. If you stake a swordfish and clean it when it's fresh, every single stake will do that. So that's why I always leave it in those bigger loins. But now that we let this sit for a day and a half or two days at most, you can stake this and it won't swell. It'll stay uh, nice and even, which makes it a lot easier to cook. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but it just makes it tougher to cook when it swells up. And you wouldn't want to do that on every, you know, this would have been a hundred stakes if we did it the first night. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep it whole if possible, if not in big loins like that till you clean it. Well, let's keep going here. Just want to touch up the edge of that knife again there and keep it sharp. We're going to follow up right down along here on the outline. Let's see. You can see where this bloodline is there, so we just want to split that in the middle and put it into manageable pieces. So. There we go. That one piece here where that's swelled up and sticking up, we can trim that off there and cut it even. But we'll just do that when we go to cook it, so won't be a problem. Of you guys wonder what we do with all this fish and we don't catch giants like this every day the next day we went out we caught two swordfish which is great because you know we average about one fish per trip but they were smaller you know one was a keeper at 50 inches you know the 47 is minimum and then we let the other one go about the same size but you know this fish here this is a fish of a lifetime no doubt about it this is a special fish so there's Rick <laughs> grinding up some cat food here <laughs> yeah we got a cat food there we go nice and orange it is orange Felix, Felix will be bouncing off the walls with this. Yeah. What's this on your nose? Piece. Sun protector? Sun protector. That sun out there will beat you guys up there, so you gotta See be careful. That bridge of the nose gets all burnt up. <laughs> a little a piece protector. of rubber will do you good. Alrighty. Alright. See you later. We'll see you later. We're gonna go right down here and split this down the middle again. Prime. Here we go. I want to make sure everybody knows I appreciate them following along in 2020 
and I can't wait to 2021 because this video is coming out in 2021. But it's gonna be exciting. This is gonna be exciting. How you doing? <laughs> There's another way to clean a swordfish too. When you do the one side, sort of rolling it over. When a fish is big, it's kind of tough. You know, we're gonna pick a little bit of meat up there, but uh, I could have left the meat side down and peeled the backbone up and cut it off that way, but I didn't do it that way, so. Tan man's over there, always playing a joke. No swordfish, oh, no swordfish for you. Ah! My favorite piece, the last piece. Well, we're cutting it away, buddy. How much you want to smoke? That much or more? Is that good? Alright, there you go. Big look, you might. What's that? Big look. Okay. Sarah cuts it up, but I don't know. It might be cool to try it that way. I've never seen it done that way. We'll try it. Alright, good luck. Good luck. Let us know. There he is, a Spartan guy. That's Spartan charge. You're welcome. Enjoy. I just emptied all my beer out of these gourds for a piece of that meat. Yes, there you go. <laughs> One big family here at Bud and Mary's. Not everybody likes each other, just like a normal family, so it's perfect. So we try to get along, though. The bottles are dirty. Do you want a cup? No, I don't want that. Okay, no cup. She wants the bottle. Can't always make her happy. All right, here we go. We got bacon on the Traeger here. And we're about to make barbecue bacon wrap swordfish. We have got a swordfish connoisseur here. We got Buck here, oh, Uncle yeah. Buck's here. So you may recognize him. He's oh, been in a video too before. So he's an eating connoisseur. And <laughs> uh, we got Frank over here. Frank's making bacon. Frank the tank, baby. Here we go. Now some of this, you know, we're trying to cook the bacon halfway through. Some of it got cooked a little more. That's all right, because we've just been eating that. We're going to go wrap that pumpkin <laughs> swordfish the with the bacon. And then we can put some barbecue sauce on it and it's going back on the grill. There we go. Here's the garden, it's coming along. Jamie's still working on video. I mean, we got squashzilla right here. That's squash right there. We got basil in there. We got herbs, we got tomatoes. Look, it's coming I think along. This one's too done for the swordfish. Yeah, it's way too done. We better right, eat that. If you guys right eat now. all the bacon before we put the swordfish in there, we want no video. Alright, I eat it by two then. So there you go. That's the first time we've done that. Bacon on the trigger. What do you think, bro? Looks good to me. Let's get it up there and go wrap some swordfish. Perfect. Here we go. Take that Here off. What you want to do? I'll get better as there we go. go. Yeah, beautiful. Pie shape. And then you take this piece of swordfish <laughs> and you wrap bacon on it. We can put barbecue on it. The bacon's halfway cooked, like I said. We're gonna have us ourselves a feast here. So, now Frank, he's ate a lot of pumpkin swordfish. That's why I'm kind of pumpkin-y. <laughs> there you go. Not shape-wise, color-wise. Oh, okay, shape-wise too. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at the fat in there. Man, look at look at that, dude. Mm. Ooh, doggy. Lord mm. have mercy. good. So we cut the bacon in half. We're gonna take a half piece of bacon, put it around a swordfish, and then we're gonna put this bamboo skewer through it. <laughs> Buck has the most important job. That's sure. right. <laughs> Here it is. We got like 30 pieces of bacon wrapped swordfish. We're going to grill it right now, put some barbecue sauce on it. Here we go. I got it at 400 degrees. We had it up at 450. It was a little hot. Went down to 400. Let's start getting them on there and basting them. Swordfish? Mm. No? You want a garden? Oh. I think Sadie smelled the bacon wrap barbecue swordfish because she came running. Sadie, look what I'm cooking. Look, check it out. Ooh. You excited? You want to try some? Mm. Want to that stuff? There's more. There you go. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Nope, okay. <laughs> 
It's cooked, it's done. We flipped it over, put a little more barbecue sauce on it. We're gonna start pulling it off now. We're gonna go feast. We'll see what Buck thinks, we'll see what Frank thinks, we'll see what Sadie thinks, Mama Sarah, and me. Check it on out. I wish you guys could smell that. I mean, Buck will tell you, it smells good, right? Yeah, it looks amazing. He snuck a couple when you guys weren't looking. He said it's well, good, but that happens. <laughs> let's go get everyone else's opinion here. Now, I'd like to give baby Claire a piece, but she's just drinking milk still. But check her out. Hi, Claire. That's our baby girl. She's five weeks old today. Maybe five and a half weeks. Christmas tree's still up, but it's coming down soon. Getting close to New Year's, so there you go. And they ordered a swordfish mount. It's going to look like that one, except about two feet bigger. It was a massive swordfish, 381 pounds, 155 inches tip to tip or something like that. This one's 135 inches, so almost two feet bigger. Let me check that one out there. All right, let's feed these guys now. Franker? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Tell me, ma'am. What is it? Tell me, ma'am. Okay. All right, we got to strap on some purple. Or is it purple or pink? Orange. Orange. Yeah, man. So we got a big old fat swordfish. You caught. We're wrapping it up in bacon. The stuff's gonna go down. Mm, you got to try some of this. <laughs> there you go. Um, Sadie, do you want to try some swordfish? Mm. What are you doing? Are these stickers? Are these baby shark stickers? What? Uh, pumpkin. pumpkin. They are. There you go. All right. Let's go feast. Here we go. Right. All right, we are gonna take this swordfish, you guys. You can see it, it's beautiful orange. That's pumpkin swordfish, big one there. Second biggest of the year. We got three this year, 380, 381 and a half, and a 382. Kind of unbelievable, we got three fish all within two pounds. We're gonna do bacon barbecue wrap with that one. 